It's graduation Sunday at Syracuse University, meaning a unique doubleheader for three prominent SU lacrosse players. Casey Donegan from Corning. He's emerged as a senior as the behind the cage feeder. Senior captain Dom Finn from Yorktown Heights looking to be a first team All-American for the third straight year. And fellow senior captain Charlie Lockwood from Syracuse. He played basketball for the Orangemen this season. He's also looking to repeat as an All-American. This afternoon, the Orangemen face Michigan State. They met last year at the Duffy Doherty Football Building in East Lansing, and Syracuse won 27-7. Super Sports, a production of Adelphia Cable Communications, presents NCAA Lacrosse. This afternoon, it's 7-5 Michigan, taking on top-ranked and 11-1 Syracuse. Today's game coming to you from the Carrier Dome in Syracuse. Happy Mother's Day, everyone. I'm Dan Horton, along with Dale Drypolcher. We're delighted to have you watching our Super Sports coverage of SU Lacrosse. Today's game is the last game of the regular season for the Orangemen. And following the game today, Dale, Syracuse finds out where it is seated in the upcoming NCAA tournament. And that's something that the Syracuse coaches are stressing going into this game. Yeah, believe it or not, there's still a lot of incentive. Syracuse players are saying not only do we have to look good against Michigan State, we have to do it in the first half because the committee's meeting and, and, and there are rumors rampant that perhaps they'll be calling to see just how Syracuse looks. Ho hopefully, obviously, Syracuse looking for that number one seating, which would give them a great advantage in the playoffs. And rightly or perhaps wrongly, Roy Simmons and his coaching staff feel there might be a little Baltimore bias in that uh, seating committee. We'll see if Syracuse is number one, which the Orangemen feel they deserve. Today's opponent, Michigan State, does have a winning record, but it's really a mystery to Syracuse. They haven't seen game films and, quite frankly, don't know what to expect from Rich Campbell's team. Yeah, Rich Kimball's a guy who, uh, he's got nothing to lose, he's going to put everybody together, he could run a zone defense, he could run, uh, they said he might hold the ball until the third quarter, they really don't know what to expect, they've gotten scouting reports, but as you said, no video, no tape, so they're just going to have to play it by ear, it's going to be a game of adjustments. We'll see how it turns out, Syracuse taking on Michigan State, we'll be back with the starting lineups and the opening face-off in a moment on Super Sports. Dan Horton, Dale Drypolcher from the Carrier Dome. Looks like we're going to have a smallish crowd in attendance today. They had a big crowd for graduation ceremonies this morning. And one thing you might notice, the old turf was put back down for graduation. Should have the new turf back in place for Syracuse's one home playoff game they figured to get in a couple of weeks. Looking at the starters for Michigan State, Kiefer is the leading scorer. Wardian and Jolly are also on the attack. Jim Wolf is the faceoff specialist. The middies are Ladinsky. Wolf and Siebel. At defense, Schlackman, Rivers, and John Rehm, who is a Syracuse area high school player. Chris McCready, a senior captain, is in goal. And there is Rich Kimball in his 14th year at Michigan State. Seven and five this season, but his team has dropped three of its last four, including a big game the last time out against Notre Dame that might have been for the western spot in the NCAA tournament. Now the Syracuse starters, Donegan, Morrissey, and Doyle at the attack. Signer is the face-off specialist. The middies are Colsey, Lockwood, and Finn, all first-team All-America candidates. The defense, Chad Smith, Hans Schmidt, and Rick Beardsley, who's back after missing a game for a sister's wedding. Alex Rozier is in goal. And Roy Simmons Jr. up to 242 wins. He's now tied for first among active coaches with Richie Moran of Cornell. Signor and Wolf set to face it off. The opening draw controlled by Signor of Syracuse. He flips back to Colsey. We'll see if the Orangemen get on the board very quickly. They've done it in the first 10 seconds a couple of times this season. That won't quite happen, but Syracuse does have the ball. Michigan State trying a, it looks like a bit of a zone early. Yep. Donegan behind the cage. In front to Colsey, who lost it off his stick. The race is on for the bouncing ball. Still loose. And it's picked up by Colsey. Colsey finding Doyle, Outside. who shoots Outside and hit of the, the net. side of the net. The fans thought it was a goal because they saw the net move, but it hit the side of the net. And Michigan State has the ball for the first time. Great poke by Doyle to take the stick right out of the hands of Scott Siebel. Charlie Lockwood, he'll shoot, shot goes wide. 
And Morrissey was the closest man. Syracuse holds on to the ball. Morrissey out of Scanny Atlas, ran forward, dished to Casey Donegan. Doyle playing with a big knee brace. And now the ball is knocked out of his cross. It goes out of bounds, and Michigan State will have it. Nice play by Rain, the defenseman from Fable Manley, as he really played good, tough defense. There he is, and he's a big guy, 6'3", 200 pounds, and down the ball went all over to uh, Michigan State. So the Spartans will get it, and they change, get some people in on the timeout, and Rain has got it on the far side, on the wing. The defenseman, long pass. Taken in by Danny Dell. Now up to Jeff Jealous. Puts a spin move on Toby Price. Jealous cradling with the left hand. Price falls down. Second time we've seen someone fall. I wonder if the old turf might have anything to do with that. It's certainly not as pretty to look at as the new one. Pound shot gets by Rozier. And Michigan State is on the scoreboard first. Dan Edell. Danny Dell just ran a power from behind the cage. And Adele, watch him, there's a pick right there, just a little bit, just got enough. Uh, and Adele made his move as they, they picked off Fotopoulos, the big stick mini, and Rozier couldn't stop it. Watch it right here. Not an especially hard shot, in fact, kind of soft. Took a little off it, kind of like a changeup. Michigan State scores first. Now the second draw of the day. Incidentally, uh, we'll get a... White ball on the hold, but Michigan State, both wingmen, Dave, are, Dan, big stick guys. They're mm. used, they've got both guys out there with big sticks. All right, they don't have to change. If they lose the face off, they don't have to worry about getting stuck with a short stick on. Syracuse trying to tie it. Played about two minutes. Great look in front. Colsey's shot went high. Donegan was there. Syracuse has it. Now it's Morrissey. Behind the cage to Donegan in that feeder's roll. Swings it around to the outside, Matt Doyle. And a looping pass to Jim Morrissey. They are using a little bit of a zone defense, but they are really doubling and jumping as soon as they can. That's gonna be off a of Syracuse stick, Michigan State ball. Doyle was the intended receiver for that pass. Charlie Lockwood with the pass as he was cutting. And it was a little bit behind him and it went out of bounds. They will not get a free clear. They're in their own territory, just above the, the box. Ball handled by Huss. Long and pass. And all the way across the field, a somewhat dangerous pass, but controlled by Michigan State. The goalie, McCready, way out of the crease. Syracuse trying to take the ball away, but the Orangemen are unable to do it. And here comes John Rehm, finding Jeff Jealous. Jealous running parallel and now behind the cage. Syracuse's defenders picking out their men. And Michigan State setting up its alignment. You can see the Spartans will be very patient on offense. You have to do that against Syracuse. Just what I said, they thought they might, they might get the face off and hold the ball till the third quarter. Is that Sheretz on number 19? Jealous. Huss with up. the ball now. Toby Price defends him. They got the little sticks behind, and the defensemen are out on top, having to play like a little inverted situation there. Uh, uh, they're sitting on a one-goal lead, and they're going to be very patient, and I don't blame them. That's the, that's the strategy. It's difficult. Syracuse will have to adjust to it. They were very patient against Massachusetts, and Massachusetts likewise was very patient against Syracuse. It was a good game, but it does change your style. Let's see what they're going to say. Yeah, one outside, not delay a game. So that's one of the dangers of running mm -hmm. that kind of game, but they took a lot of time off the clock. Paul Sullivan runs forward for Syracuse. Bit of a lineup change as Syracuse tries to tie it at one. The Orange been trailing early. See him collapse? They are just, whenever the ball is passed, they are streaking to the ball. They're doubling and getting right to the ball out of that zone as soon as the Syracuse passes the ball to somebody who's in the scoring position. They're not doing it behind. 
but they are playing very tough behind one-on-one -on -one defense. Good job by Schlackman, but he's going to pick up a penalty. Sullivan with the open shot. Nice, nice save. save by McCready. They're going to get a slash on that. Syracuse will be man up. There's the helmet right there of Schlackman. Got him on the helmet, but playing good, tough defense. And then you saw the save by the goalie. So Syracuse will be man up first time for a minute. 10.34 left, first quarter. They'd love to be able to get out of this without giving up a goal. That would give them a lot of confidence, Michigan State. Kavavit looking for Lockwood. The ball is loose and recovered by Syracuse. Dom Finn. See how, aggr up. See how aggressive they're playing the man with the ball. That's Rain. He gets it out of there and he turns it over to Michigan State. David Rivers running up the field. Now it's Brian Hubbard. He swings behind to the leading scorer, Dave Kiefer. Kiefer's a big kid, 6'4", 200 from Denver. Scott Siebel, Michigan State's Rookie of the Year last year. This is a very young Michigan State team. 26 of the 36 players are either freshmen or sophomores. Syracuse also a young team, only five seniors participating in graduation ceremonies today but three very prominent ones in Lockwood, Finn, and Donegan. Michigan State was using a 2-2-2. Now they got three guys out on top, and they're changing one guy from the crease and then replacing him. Good shot. And a good save by Rozier. Shot was on the mark by Siebel, and Rozier saved it with his stick. Charlie Lockwood using his speed to get upfield, cradling with the right hand. Now slams on the brakes and looks to feed. Roy Colsey hit hard, but he stays on his feet. Knocks down a defender, he'll shoot. Shot goes wide, Kavavit was there. Roy Colsey, probably the strongest Syracuse midi. He took two hard hits and did not go down. Clark, one of the guys that he hit there at the end, uh, there he is right there, it was Clark, and he dished him right down on his back. But you can see their philosophy when the ball's there, they're getting to it and they're trying to put pressure on whoever's got the ball, get them to throw the ball away, make a poor pass. Colsey with a low bullet, saved by senior Chris McCready. Well, he just got out of the goal. Well, Rame has it poked away by Kavavit. He recovers. And Rame is able to complete the pass upfield. Michigan State with another opportunity. Jay Ladinsky will set things up. Once again, you can see they are going to take the time. Jealous comes in and gets the ball, 19. Lockwood on him. It's important for Syracuse not to get frustrated. Absolutely. I mean, that's, you know, there's a, there's a lot of time left, but in the first quarter, Michigan State has done what they want to do, and, you know, you, you certainly don't look for excuses. Syracuse has had finals, so I guess it's Michigan State, but it's something they don't look like they're quite together yet, and they knew they're going to get something different. They didn't know what to expect, so as I said in the open, they got to adjust kind of on the fly, and they're going to tell them that this is a stalling game, and you're going to have to do something. They have been warned to keep it in. If they go out of that box, you're going to lose the ball. He did, and they lost it. See, you cannot, in the game of lacrosse, they do not let you play four corners like in basketball. And when they warn you, if they think you're stalling, and the official says, get it in, and then says, keep it in, you have to keep it in the box. Charlie Lockwood knocked down on a big hit. Run, 41 did it. Dom Finn fired the shot. I'll tell you what, one thing is, this is going to be a physical game. Michigan State has started the tenure, the tenor, I should say, right now. Uh, they are really putting the body to Syracuse, and they are a big group of kids. Little screenshot, nice save. McCready Lost the rebound, again. but it's back in Michigan State's hands. And Eric Huss spins his way upfield. Oh, he lost two guys. Nice move. Syracuse recovering defensively. Now Beardsley with a takeaway. And the call against Beardsley. 
going to get him a hold. Dursley doesn't complain. He is compliant. So a first man up opportunity for the Spartans. They'll get 30 seconds. And let's see how much time elapses before they take the shot. Coach Kimball got to be very pleased so far with a 1-0 lead. 6.48 left in the first quarter. Chris Clark from the Buffalo suburb of Orchard Park. Now it's Ledinsky. Really trying to, I think, spread out the Syracuse defense, make the long slides when they're man down. If you try to help anybody out, you got a long distance to go. On the other hand, you have to take long shots. This one stays Michigan State. 12 seconds left in the man up opportunity. We're at the 6.30 mark of the first quarter. It's 1-0 Michigan State. And the penalty is expired. Now the bounce shot saved by Rozier. He looks upfield to Price, it's overthrown. Ball still bouncing. McCready runs after it, but he'll let it go out of bounds. Circus timing looks a little off, Dan. I, you know, they just, on that pass, Rozier had a lot of time on the save, but I will say this. They are going right after Rozier. They're not letting him look. There's two guys in his face with their sticks up. Well, as soon as he makes the save, or if he comes out, they're going to jump him. So he looked up, made the pass, but it was not on the mark, and Syracuse eventually lost it. As you can see, Michigan State will have to clear. Rain makes a long crossfield pass. And nice. then the quick flip forward pays off as he dealt. Crosses midfield for Michigan State. Nice clear by the Spartans. Fotopoulos goes for the takeaway and comes up with it. Couldn't control the ball, though. Michigan State recovers. Petopoulos whacking after Jealous. See, every time you get the ball down here, you get a chance to run some time off the clock, but they have already lost the ball once for stalling, so they've got to be careful. They've got to, they've got to convince the officials that they're not just wasting time down there. Edel with the ball, Price covers him. Tough shot, Rozier got it with his leg, recovered by Michigan State. Ungachauer, Stan Ungachauer will crank it up and he scores! 2-0 Michigan State. Took a nice left-handed shot, Ungachauer puts it by Rozier. Watch him break out and look how much room he's got. They were talking about who's got whom, and just before, he just unloads, and that was not able to be tracked down by Rozier. So, 2-0. Third draw of the game, controlled by Michigan State. The Spartans have taken two out of three. Hey, he's got the big stick. That's Rivers. Shot and a goal! David Rivers scores, and Michigan State Leads Syracuse 3-0 with roughly five minutes left in the first quarter. Now, he was a wing midi, number nine. He came off the right side, the right wing. He got the ball. He's actually there to play defense to try to poke the ball away. He just takes a shot off the stick side of Rozier, and he puts State up 3-0. Two goals in a 14-second span for the Spartans. They lead Syracuse 3-zip. Toby Price out to take this face off for Syracuse. Now that's going to be Syracuse's by default. Procedure on the green. Yep. Procedure on the green. That was Wolf moving ahead of time. So now Syracuse has got an opportunity here to get in this game. It has been all Michigan State for the first 11 minutes of this quarter. All three goals have been unassisted. Here comes Dom Finn. Good luck to Morrissey. Syracuse is on the board. Jim Morrissey fires a shot just inside the post, and it's 3-1. The strategy was there. Let's get physical. Let's get on the guy with the ball as they tried to get to Finn, but he made the pass to Morrissey, and he really, nice little left-handed bounce shot. Watch him. There's Finn as he gets pushed, and that leaves Morrissey alone, albeit a short period of time alone on the crease, and 
He puts it past the goalie for goal number one for Syracuse. It was 3-0 for all of 12 seconds. 3-1 now, and Syracuse wins the draw. Morrissey with his 27th goal of this, his sophomore season. Morrissey has it, parallel with the cage. Behind to Donegan. Looks in front, Colsey shoots and scores. Great feed by Casey Donegan. 3-2. That took 21 seconds. Number 35, Ramey Paulwells from Michigan State. Watch him, he's gonna run across. He's kind of like a designated hitter. He is just looking for anybody. He flies back and forth. He didn't get there in time. Watch Colsey, watch 35. See his job, watch him run back now. Who's next? There he is, tries to get him, but Colsey, they allowed him to set up his Coleman lantern and everything right there on the crease. He had a lot of time, and let's see what we got here. Somebody left a little early, we got a hold. No, on Syracuse a hold. And a little talk going on from Michigan State as they are the beneficiaries of a hold call. Let's see, now it's procedure against Michigan State. He originally said it was a hold. Rich Kimball doesn't buy it. Syracuse going for the tie now. I thought he left early from the, the wing area and that, that should have been, the, that's what I thought the call was. Then he made a signal for a hold, but at any rate, Syracuse gets the ball. Mm -hmm. Looked Captain like that's what Charlie Lockwood was calling for as well. Right. Finn shoots, it's wide. Great opportunity for Dom Finn, and he points to Morrissey to indicate he appreciates the good feed. Michigan stayed up 3-2, it was 3-0. Colsey scores again. His team leading 38th goal, we're tied at three. I think Syracuse needed a, a bit of time. I'm certainly not saying the game's over, it's tied, but they really look like they're in much better sync offensively. That, that's a little quail ball. That started out low, went high. Watch the shot Colsey gets off as Rehm tries to take his arm off and it started out low and not able to track it down. McCready gives up number three in a short period of time. It was three nothing Michigan State, 50 seconds of game time later, it's three all. Here's Fietta. Bounce shot goes a bit wide, Donegan was there, the race is on. And Syracuse will get the ball, good hustle by Donegan. That number 35 for Michigan State, Ramey Paulwells. Boy, he is, he really, really hustles. 5'10", 180 pounds out of New Jersey. And you watch him, he's gonna be in your picture. He just kind of floats back and forth across that crease to double team or to go behind. Donegan looking for Syracuse behind a Cavavet. Good feed, Fietta scores. Mark Fietta gives Syracuse its first lead off a great feed from behind the cage from Rob Cavavet. They are really, they're pursuing and trying to get to the area, but Syracuse that close in with that kind of an angle, McCready really can't do much about it. 4-3 now with 3.17 left. 4-3. 3.17 left in the quarter. Syracuse with four straight goals in roughly a minute and a half. You see both wing middies there for Michigan State with Rain and Rivers with the big sticks, but somebody was detected pushing and in lacrosse, this is what lets you get your momentum back. You score three or four quick goals and you get the ball back again. Mm -hmm. Syracuse with a 6-2 advantage on the faceoffs. Donegan. Whistles came good, before good the whistle. shot. That's a Ward? Yes, that's, I, I believe that was what he called a Ward. You cannot push the offensive man away. So possession go back to Michigan State. Roy's facial expression hasn't changed much. Even when Syracuse fell behind three zip, he remained very calm. You know, that's something I, I don't want to say you would expect it, or, but you know, it's really a difficult situation. Michigan State's got everything to, to gain and really nothing to lose. It's a trite thing to say, but it's true. And they get pumped up and you guys are going, oh geez, we were just supposed to come out and this is supposed to be easy and it isn't. And you gotta, you gotta, get, you gotta get that adrenaline pumping. And I think they did. 
Crady loses the ball there momentarily. They've got a nice philosophy. They were contesting everything Michigan State is, but right now they got to get it clear. McCready's going to lose the ball. Rame comes up with it near midfield. Now forward to Chris Clark. Syracuse struggling to catch up to him. Clark passed up an opportunity to shoot. Now the bouncing ball goes way up into the air, and it's run down by Kiefer. He's pushed from behind, and it goes to Syracuse. Legally pushed, and Fietta did the honors. Escorted him over the yellow sideline, and Syracuse will get the ball. Rozier's got uh, three saves. And Rozier has the ball. Gets rid of it before the defender can get to him. His pass to Signor was checked away. Chad Smith going across field. It looked like he missed the intended receiver, but it was picked up by the next man. Now a shot and a goal for Rob Cavavit. He took the ball wide open in front of the cage, and McCready had no chance. Now the thing with Michigan State is, you know, it worked early, and you, and you got to still believe in what's going on, but they just looked a little confused who had him, and he just turned around. Two guys were going for the ball, and Cavavit got a nice feed. Nick Licamelli, there's the pass. Yeah, Licamelli did it. There's the bounce it's, shot by Cavavit. It's wheel and fire. Pull the six gun, turn and shoot the trigger, and it in, went in for goal number five. And the tenth goal of the year for the highly touted freshman Rob Cavavit from Yorktown Heights. Syracuse is going to get this. It's Cavavit. Feeds Lockwood. Charlie was decked. Shot went wide. And Donegan was there for Syracuse. Make no mistake about it, Michigan State is still looking to play their game, which is a physical one. And they will double every chance they get. Ball down low, nice save by McCready. It wasn't really on the cage, but he got a stick on it. Syracuse leading 5-3, five straight goals for the Orangemen. That pass mishandled, Colsey comes up with it. See, there are two guys on Colsey. They Beats are the double team, takes the shot, and it rolls in and hit the post. Then it looked like it was kicked back in by McCready. Colsey with a hat trick in the first quarter, 6-3 Syracuse. That's the, so watch the two guys, watch Colsey. I mean, he is just going to get mugged whenever he gets a, the ball, but he takes that little hop step, gets the shot off, and just watch it dribble. He got a stick on it, but he could not stop the hard shot. He stopped the momentum but only about 99% of it, and in it went, Dan. Timeout called by Michigan State. McCready kind of makes his way slowly toward the huddle. Things are looking good when Michigan State jumped ahead 3-0, but Syracuse has roared back with six unanswered goals. The onslaught started at the 4.41 mark. Still 1.12 left in the first quarter, so six goals in three and a half minutes. Impressive, impressive, and hoping to take them out of the game. Let's take a look at Colsey again with Rivers is on him and also 39 Siebel. And watch, when he turns, they're, they're really, they're putting the aluminum and the titanium to him, but he doesn't lose the ball. Now, Wolf after him, but the shot he gets off, it's gonna take one hop and it hits the, just hits underneath the stick, stops a little bit of the momentum. You ever seen lacrosse ball bounce? They take a little hop and then a big one and it one hopped itself over the line and that gives Syracuse goal number six. But there's a lot of power on that shot, Dan. Roy Colsey with 39 goals. I believe the 10th best single season uh, figure in Syracuse history is 42, so he's closing in on the top 10. That six nothing run has been in the last three and a half minutes. The truck informs us and I know they're right. That lets you know that Syracuse has come back six unanswered times now and Michigan State, of course, not out of the game, but the momentum certainly has changed, and they've got to see if they can't pick it up. Let's get a face-off, guys. Still using two big sticks on the wings. And once again, they're going to lose the ball to illegal procedure. That was Wolf again. Syracuse trying to score its seventh unanswered goal. Kavovic behind the cage. Swings it to Morrissey. Kavovic again. As Syracuse brings it back to the top. Signor to Fietta. Good catch by Cavavit. 
And the shot from Sullivan saved by McCready. Nice save by McCready, but they are not letting him get away with an easy clear either. They are going to put pressure on him, force the long pass, and they got 10 seconds. They got to clear the ball. Morrissey trying to make that tough. Nice catch there by Rain. Rain tries to bat it forward, and it's out of bounds to go to Syracuse. Now that's a statistic. That's a ride statistic. Syracuse will look at it, however, and they'll say, we were successful on that ride. We forced an error. We got the ball back. It won't really go in the normal statistics, but right there, it gives you a good idea of how you keep momentum going. Hustle on defense, hustle on the ride, get the ball back, and that's what they did. 12 seconds left in the first quarter. Syracuse leading 6-3. Six seconds left in the quarter. Sullivan to Fietta. One second left in the quarter, and Syracuse will not get a shot off. The quarter will end with Syracuse up by three. A great start for Michigan State. A great finish to the quarter for Syracuse. At the end of one, it's 6-3 Orange Men. Happy Mother's Day and welcome back to the Carrier Dome. Dan Horton, Dale Drypolcher with you on graduation Sunday at Syracuse University. I don't know if Rich Kimball had the opportunity to take in Kurt Vonnegut's uh, address to the graduates today. I did not, although I saw a little bit of the That's right. television coverage. I forgot about that. He was here. The zone defense, uh, they took a page out of Massachusetts' book, played it very aggressively in the first half. And they did very well for actually three quarters of the first quarter, but it has turned around and Syracuse now starts the second quarter the same way they ended the first. Dan, they got the face off. 8-2 in that department in Syracuse's favor. Syracuse lost it there. Michigan State with the ball and trying to clear. And it looks like the Spartans will be able to. Well, I spoke a bit too soon. Rame had it knocked off his cross by Colsey, and Syracuse will get the ball. Nice job. Uh, you can see in playing defense right there, that's, that's Rame. But you look at Syracuse, you get a guy who plays midfield or attack, you don't just play midfield or attack. You play defense, and that's the ride. When you lose the ball, you turn around and help out. Syracuse hustled, got the ball back, and Colsey is going to bullet across. Good luck trying to take it off his stick. Offside Syracuse. Looks like Beardsley just didn't get back on side, so Rick Beardsley gets caught. Syracuse loses the ball. And Michigan State pushing it for a change. Jay Ladinsky swings it to the open man. Danny Dell. Dom Finn on him. So they got four guys out on top, two guys behind. Usually you have somebody in the middle. Now they, they're sending cutters. And that's what the guys behind are to feed or if they can beat their man, move. But there's a long jump. If Colsey needs help, it's a long jump it's right there. That's the theory. You see that? They get four offensive middies way out on top, two attack men behind, or they put another attack man on top. But watch how far you have to jump to get help. Now here's Colsey. He's one-on-one -on -one with Ladinsky. Now if he's going to get help, it's hard to see from this angle, but if they have to jump, it's about a seven yard slide, Dan, and that lets you get one-on-one -on -one some isolations. And in lacrosse, obviously, I think the advantage goes to the guy with the, the stick who knows where he's going. If he's being played with a short stick, he's got to get some help, and it's a difficult thing to do. So it worked on that particular try. The other thing about that goal was that Colsey was really gunning for the takeaway as opposed to just playing position body defense. Sometimes you get burned doing that, and when there's no one near to help out, put your goalie in a very difficult position. Good point, you're right. He, he, he did go for the takeaway and the, the help was a little bit slow coming, but that's what Michigan State's offensive theory is. And Cav of it trying to beat his man. Syracuse's lead down to two, it's 6-4. Lockwood with it. Fietta handled the bouncing ball, he breaks free. Fietta has scored once. He'll shoot, goes high, and Morrissey was there. On a shot when it goes out of bounds, if your man is closest to the out of bounds area, you hold on to the ball for those who might not be familiar with the rule there, and that's why Syracuse has it. 
why sometimes you'll see a mad dash as the ball is rolling out of bounds just to get close to the ball or close to the end line. Oh, yes. Fiata with a low shot, and once again, it looked like McCready had a big piece, but not enough. You talk about English on a ball. That ball bounced. I don't ever think it hit the net. It, uh, it goes in. All it's got to do is go across the line. See the white line? does not have to hit the net. Let's watch. Watch it go. Now watch it bounce backwards. See that? See how it goes? Then it finally did hit the net, but it took a little spin backwards. There was some spin on it. Still good, 7-4. Looked like it skimmed in off the inner part of McCready's leg. He needs fatter thighs to make that save. <laughs> you have to work on that in the offseason. He's a senior, so he might. Well, there you go. <laughs> he's, uh, he's not going to have to worry about it. 12.54 left in the half. Syracuse 7, Michigan State 4. They were complaining. They wanted a, a delay a game call, but uh, they had to adjust the, the knee brace. Uh, Toby Derek. Price winning yeah. another draw. Well, they had to adjust the knee brace, and that's why he was a little slow getting out there. Lockwood's feed for Doyle. Still bouncing around. McCready saved a tough shot there as Syracuse got a quick stick opportunity. Now it's Price. I forced that inside. Oh! Doyle picks up the loose ball and whips a shot by McCready. We didn't know if Doyle would play today because of the hamstring injury he suffered last week against Massachusetts. He is not only playing, he has scored. There's the interception of the pass, and then the give to the wing, and then the look back. But watch, the ball's knocked down, but not controlled. And ooh, point blank range. Syracuse puts it in, number 29, Matt Doyle, with a kind of a severe looking brace on that leg. A lot of knee braces blossoming at this point of the season. Let's see what they get out. There's gonna be a slash there. That was almost a sound penalty. Yeah, Number nine for Michigan State's gonna take a seat. Rivers, I think, yep, that's him. So Syracuse will be man up. Second opportunity for man up. There's 0-4-1. Listen, listen to the audio here, guys. Oh, yes. You know, when you see that stick and then you hear it, boy, you hate not to call it as an official, but you're really supposed to see it, and I'm sure he did. Oh, boy, that was an easy one. Jim Morrissey scoring from Rob Cavavit. 9-4 Syracuse. Morrissey is going to be left alone as they shift in the zone, and then there's this hole, and it's just too easy for him. Nice. You know, it looked easy, but, you know, it was a harder shot. He didn't have any angle at all. That was a nice shot. I have never uh, played lacrosse goalie, but generally you'll see the goalie hug the post yeah. when someone comes in on that angle, and McCready gave up that inner position between himself and the post. That's what you're supposed to do, hug that post. Michigan State wins draw for a change. The Spartans down 9-4. Weak bouncing shot, never did get through to Rozier. Chad Smith bounces it upfield to Roy Colsey. Numbers favor Syracuse. Great feed by Colsey over the shoulder by Donegan. A stylish goal for the Syracuse senior off a nice feed from Roy Colsey. Looked like they were waiting to do that. It looked like they've been, let's try this one that we worked in practice. Down the right side, a little kind of a shovel pass on the side and then up in the air and over his shoulder, Donegan for number 10, and watch Colsey, watch the kind of a nonchalant pass. He knows the goalie's got to come out, try to play the stick. He brings the stick back around and goes behind the back. He's one and one so far today, but uh, a pretty one right there, as you said. The senior from Corning East High, the all-time leading scorer at his high school. 17th goal of the season for Casey Donegan, who's done a nice job filling that Jamie Archer behind the cage role for Syracuse this season. Syracuse gets called on the procedure penalty. Ferguson was out for the face, number two, I think. And uh, yeah, that was him, and he uh, got called for procedure. Went a little soon, so ball goes to Michigan State. Syracuse up 10-4. Penalty almost up for Michigan State. They still were counting it down on the clock, but they had the ball down there. there no penalty. Center. 
nearing the midway point of the second quarter. Syracuse with 10 of the last 11 goals. But Michigan State gets one back. Unga Chower scoring his second goal of the day. A freshman from Westbury, New York, and Stan was able to beat Eric Ro uh, Alex Rozier with a bounce shot. 5'9", 116, Unga Chower gets by. Ball goes high. He beat 43, Chad Smith. So it goes to 10-5. Have to give Michigan State some credit. They have not folded after that six goal onslaught. They are back. But after Syracuse pulled ahead, maybe by three or four goals, Michigan State started to move the ball on offense. They have to if they want a chance to win. And that's fine with Syracuse. Good point, It'll yes. lead to some Michigan State goals, but Syracuse is going to win that war. Signor catching McCready way out of position. I'm not sure why McCready came so far out of the crease because the ball was nowhere near the goal yet. Sometimes they try to get out and give a little help if somebody's gonna pass the ball down. They wanna get out and give a little help, but the ball not controlled there, and that's exactly what he was doing, but he was far out and not able to make the comeback. McCready trying to work on those thighs, as you said, perhaps he's a senior, but wrap check attempt there. That ball down, still down. All the faceoffs have been hotly contested. Syracuse has done very well in that department today, and that has been one of the question marks about the team this season. Yeah, they're getting Signor, the main faceoff, and hitting about 48%, and that's. You know, that's not awful or anything, but, you know, there are games when uh, if you, uh, you know, over the season it's okay, but if there's games when you're only getting 25 or 30%, then, you know, you've got, you've got some problems. I don't think that that's a real severe problem, but it's something they'd like to be better at, I'm sure. Syracuse's only loss this season came early to Johns Hopkins, and it was a big problem in that game. Down the stretch, Syracuse could not get the ball back off the faceoff. Well, and they also, I thought, did well against Massachusetts last week. Uh, which had a pretty good face-off guy coming in, about 60-some percent, and uh, Signor won over half of those. If you can get over half, you're doing mm -hmm. pretty well. And of course, it depends on what you do with it after you get it, but you're absolutely right. And uh, Syracuse getting a little stronger in that, doing right. well today. Yeah, I think the bottom line is Syracuse has vastly improved since the start of the season. Well, and Signor from uh, Community College, uh, new in the system. Incidentally, Herkimer CC won its 50th straight game yesterday and plays for another national title next week. What's new, right? Got the stick down, made the save. Gets the ball up on the wing, but it's not going to be handled by State. Beardsley with it. Long high pass back to Michigan State. I have to correct myself. Herkimer Community College plays for a title today. And if we hear that score, we'll certainly <laughs> pass it along. That kind of an unsettled situation. Nice shot off by Siebel. Michigan State keeps the ball. The fans are responding negatively, thinking that Rozier had won the race. Well, I think he went beyond the line. I, I, I can't swear to it, but if you're beyond the line, that makes a difference. You've got to be in bounds. I think that's what happened. These lines hard to tell on this, this older field. Mm -hmm. Michigan State taking the time, running their offense. Syracuse leading 11-5. Nine minutes left in the second quarter. Oh! Rozier saved it, didn't realize he had, but then found the ball at his feet. One-handed catch by Lockwood. Fires it upfield for Schmidt, who couldn't catch it. Michigan State has it. Spartans able to clear. Scott Siebel with the ball. Chad Smith comes up to poke him. The pass backward, bounces away from Edel. Players congregated midfield, they can't cross. Michigan State wins it. Set Rame with it for State. Cava that knocked it out of his cross, it rolls out of bounds. Syracuse gets it. Wittick, I think 45, looked like 15, it was 45, yep. But you're right, he knocked it out. Watch, watch the left-handed check. Beautiful, now if you get anything but stick there, they're gonna call a penalty, and he got nothing but titanium. 
Gee, that Fisher was right next to one of the field mics. Whoa, that was a loud whistle. Hmm. Licamelli, who has one assist. Now the ball worked around to Donegan. Donegan with the prettiest goal thus far over the shoulder for Syracuse's 10th goal. Short Morrissey, read. and it bounces just wide. Once again, it got away momentarily from McCready, but this time it bounced wide of the cage. Spartans clear. Rivers, the big stick. Looked like he went into the crease. Shot did not go in anyway. There were flags well before the shot. Hold. That's a, that's a hold. There's a Schlackman coming down, and there's the attempt to get the ball loose, and then you're going to see the hold by Sheritz. And they called it right there. So... Man up opportunity number two for the Spartans. Zero for one at this point. Syracuse burned off a 30-second man down situation when Beardsley was guilty of a violation in the first. Michigan State did not have any good opportunities in that first man up. Fifteen left in the penalty. Ball bouncing loose. Still loose. Well, if nothing else, this is burning off time. Yeah. And Chad Smith comes away for Syracuse. Nice look to Beardsley. Here comes Rick Beardsley. Penalties up, they'd be released anyway. I told Beardsley to get a goal today. He didn't have one yet. He said, you know what he told me? He said, you know, I get hit so many times and I don't heal as quickly as I used to. I'm 21 now. <laughs> well, actually, not until Monday. Yeah. He'll turn uh, 21 tomorrow. It's tough, right? Yeah, 21's tougher to heal when you're 21. He took a shot, didn't go. Incidentally, Syracuse on the year, uh, only uh, giving up 18 to 96 man up opportunities, so they are really successful in that endeavor. Oh, Rame over the head of Donegan. Well, that's going to garner him a penalty. And now some trash talking. After the violation, Donegan reached out with his left hand and patted Rame on the helmet. Yeah, I think that was innocuous enough. I think he was just saying, you know, nice try, but uh, of course, no, I wasn't down there. Rame didn't take it that way, however. Right. And, and really still unnecessary. Right. The penalty speaks for itself. It wasn't overly bad uh, woofing on Donegan's part, but still unnecessary. Hold on, now watch, Rame's gonna go over his head. And he just patted him on the head, and that's gonna be... So one minute slashing. So Syracuse is down now. Those are simultaneous fouls, so they can't be released for at least 30 seconds. In other words, they have to solve, solve, they have to burn off at least the least amount of time. That's 30 seconds. Now, they called a timeout. John Desco called a timeout. And more to talk to the official than anything else. So you can see the confab. Kevin Donahue there with a the white hat. Laddie Horrell, one of the assistant coaches. John Desco, and Coach Simmons, the diplomat, in the back with the white hat. He's going to check and see something. You know, I was talking to, it says five on five, their ball, which means each guy is down, a, each team is down one man. Watch Rame. Now he's going to go up over Donegan's head, trying to get the ball out. Now, ball's still down. He pats him, pats him on the head. And now, was Donegan called for that? Because they do have number one 30 seconds up on the board. Yeah. Thirty seconds. Unreleasable penalty. 
So each team, five, well, the two teams, five on five for 30 seconds, right. and then Syracuse with 30-second man up. That's right, eventually. But none, these, the, the first 30 cannot be released, no matter what happens, goal or whatever. It's non-releasable. At least that's the way I remember it. Now you're talking about staying on sides now. You know, make sure you're on sides. Got to have three in the offensive half, four in the defensive half. Make sure you don't screw up. Now the goalie's involved. Bad um, flip by McCready. Couldn't get it to teammate uh, Mike Van Antwerp. I can remember when the lacrosse rule book used to be about as thick as a comic book. Now it's gotten substantially more complicated. Real AstroTurf pass, and Colsey's got it. Serve the full 30. And you hear them saying you've got to serve the full 30. So Syracuse with a man up opportunity for 30 seconds. Right, just came in. They sent in 24. Signor comes in on the man up. Oh! oh half of it to Finn. Dom shot before he had the ball, but a good steal. Getting the ball back by Signor. Here's Colsey. Oh! And Colsey close line down. Violation will be on Michigan State. Schlackman, they may give him a hold. Yeah, they did. They gave him a hold. It's Colsey and then Schlackman, number eight. <laughs> he puts that titanium around the throat, but it's only a hold. So I think they got seven left on the uh, first penalty, and uh, so they'll be uh, one man down for seven seconds, and then they're going to be two men down. Excuse me, they'll be two men down for seven seconds, and one man down for 23. Syracuse up 11 5. All right, now they're only a man up. Oh! A high shot by Matt Doyle right over the shoulder of Chris McCready. It's 12 5, Syracuse. Nice feed, Kavovit. Out and just give him that shooting lane, and it's difficult. That's what, maybe a 12 yard shot, and just extremely fast. When you get the shooting lane, if you can take it, like Matt Doyle did, you are oftentimes successful with 5.38 left. The goal makes it 12-5. So the sophomore from Elmont has his second goal of the day, his 29th of the season. Coming on the assist from Rob Cavavit, he has three assists already. Matt Doyle second on the team in goals behind Roy Colsey. He has gone one ahead of Charlie Lockwood with two goals today. Offside, Syracuse is going to get an opportunity here to get a free shot. Oh, they're going to be two men down now. This is getting this is getting ugly here. You got a hold and an offside, so Michigan State's going to be two men down. John Rame out of Fayetteville Manlius running off the field after dragging down Colsey. He is the only Syracuse area player on Michigan State's team right now, but that's going to change next year for High school players from the Syracuse area have already committed to Michigan State for next year, and others are being recruited. But Jason Tarno and Mark Sullivan from Liverpool are heading to Michigan State next year. Greg Ristow and Todd Wenzel from Jamesville DeWitt. Two excellent high school programs, mm -hmm. and this is a, a great place to recruit this, obviously Baltimore and Long Island, but for an area that size, Syracuse produces a host of good college players. Mm -hmm. And it also shows once again the great opportunities that local high school lacrosse players have in earning at least partial scholarships to colleges all over the country. Our next Super Sports telecast of NCAA lacrosse figures to be Syracuse's first NCAA tournament game. That'll be a quarterfinal game, assuming that Syracuse wins today and gets a bye in the first round, and we certainly expect that to be the case. That would be on Saturday the 21st after the Orangemen figure to have next weekend off. And then if Syracuse can win that game against the eighth seed, likely the eighth or ninth seed right. if Syracuse is number one, then it would be on to the final four in College Park, Maryland. Syracuse, Princeton, Loyola, and Virginia. The top four teams right now. Virginia always a good program. It hasn't been in the top four recently. They're making a, making a run at it this year, and that top four is uh, 
generally, although it's gotten much better. It used to be the top four teams, and then there was maybe six others, but uh, it's gotten a lot better. I think the top eight, nine teams are really pretty close, uh, can give each other a game, and uh, that shows why they're competitive, which is why they try to get the West involved. Notre Dame will be representing the West, beat Michigan State last week in overtime, but you can see I think Michigan State's improved tremendously since last year. They probably are going to lose this game, but you can see them making strides, and as you said, Dan, getting players from a hotbed. Oh, there's a Halsey's pass wound up on that's, goal, but that's called a cheap. This time it did not get by McCready. And it's going to go white ball. 4:58 left in the half. Syracuse leading 12-5. If you're joining us late, Michigan State took a three-nothing lead. Fans were in stunned silence at the dome. And Syracuse ran off three goals to tie it in 50 seconds. Another slash. Still two men down now, not that, but they're going to be down again. They're just not going to get a break here. That was another one of those audio slashes. Is that Kiefer, the big attack man? I don't know if you can hear it. Listen. Oh, oh, it was the second one. <laughs> you know? You say, geez, I'm glad he got me in the head because we got a penalty now. I'll, I'll give up anything to get a man up. And they just had the two men step on. They were two men down, and now they're down again. It seems as though uh, Roy Colsey has been drawing most of those penalties. That happens because of his ability to carry the ball. So Syracuse is a sixth man up opportunity. Let's see if they get the out on the point. Lockwood gobbles it up. Dom Finn. Tried a spinning hook shot. Bounced past the goal and Cavett was there. Dom did not have a goal last time out against Massachusetts. He did have an assist, but he certainly wants to get back in the uh, scoring column today. Uh oh. Doyle, Doyle fired yeah. across and McCready had it. Looked like he was gonna play catch with him. Oh, good hustle. See, that's the, that's the thing that kills you right there is if you get a chance to get the ball up, maybe get rid of a penalty and Hubbard, 44, loses it and uh, they come right back at you. Syracuse does. Two, that's off a of cab of it. And that's not a shot, that'll be Michigan State ball. Lockwood with a no look pass attempted from Morrissey. You know, talking about the, the top teams, I was impressed with Massachusetts last week. I thought uh, you get a hot goalie like Lepresti, they, they, did, uh, they did a nice job. They extended Syracuse and uh, those are the teams that uh, are getting better. Boy, they pushed him into the corner. They reduced the size of that field by about seven eighths, but they got it off. Eric Huss with the ball. Colsey tried to take it away. Huss got away. Now Huss trying to outrun Dom Finn. That's not easy to do. Finn got the angle, forced Huss behind the cage. Scott Siebel, Charlie Lockwood will pick up him. Smiley in now defensively for Syracuse. Gerdsley out. Smiley coming off a good game, replacing Rick Beardsley in Syracuse's starting defense. Double team. That's Chad Smith. And now you look, see, and then he gets right back into playing defense. In other words, he plays the double and then forces the pass and drops right back in. It's a game of endurance and running above all else. Look, see how they're spreading them out again? They got two guys behind, and then four guys way out on top. They got a goal out of that offense the last time. Stop and twirl. And looks like Colsey wins the race. Yes, he does. Jealous took the shot. One on one, they put those four guys out up on top and two attack men behind and try to work a deal where they can beat the defenseman. Didn't work that time, Jealous got a shot off, but. Syracuse was there and they attempt to clear. Colsey does. Wrap check by Ungachauer. Doesn't work. And Colsey casually drops it off for Finn. Now Lockwood. Charlie has not scored a goal yet today. Stutter step. Great pass. Kavavit goes low to score. Lockwood with the assist. Kavavit with his second goal. He has two goals and three assists. Syracuse up by eight. Rich Run, 41, is the guy who has the last chance. 
goalie comes out and, and run, but the, the slide wasn't there. And when the goalie comes out like that, he generally is at the mercy of the man with the ball. And Kavavit, nice pass from Lockwood, set it up, and Kavavit punched it home. Kavavit, uh, two goals, three assists. He's got five points. Bill, you hear that little buzzer? That means somebody wasn't ready to play, and it was Syracuse when... The buzzer went off, so that gives the ball automatically, no face to Michigan State. And they're checking the face-offs. Syracuse 12 to eight in that category right now at two away. Closing in on the two minute mark of the first half. Syracuse with its biggest advantage at eight. Once again, you see how far the four guys are out on top. Now they got just one man behind. And now they send another down, but look, see how far they are? If they can get a one-on-one -on -one and they can beat the guy, then it's a long jump, but Syracuse was able to, ooh, almost, Beardsley almost took a shot. Behind the back, 30 yards upfield and completed. Pass attempted in front and it was intercepted by the goalie, McCready. Uh -huh. Andy Joyce was the Syracuse player hoping to get off the shot. Roy Simmons Jr. getting some of his second and third line players in with an eight goal advantage. Preparing for the future. Syracuse playing its regular season finale today. Bounce shot on goal, Rozier was there and now the whistle. It's gonna be a slash, so it'll be a man down. Rourke work. Denver is the player they get. Watch the Rourke, bang, shoulder. And that's a, that's a slash. And Rozier got the body. See, he didn't know where the ball was, but see how he followed with the chest and the ball rode up and hit him in the chest and went up away from the cage. Spartans with 50 seconds left in the half and 44 left in the Syracuse penalty. Well, you might as well take some shots. You could hold the ball and just get the face off. I'm not sure that's going to help them. Off the post. Good looking shot by Ladinsky and Rozier was helped by the post. Chad Smith burning David Kiefer with a nice fake. Smith wants to shoot. Had it poked away from behind. Now he tries to gather it back. 20 seconds left in the half. Michigan State's ball with 18 left in the half. Offside. Procedure, somebody come in. So it'll be Syracuse ball on the procedure call. 13 seconds, that's plenty of time for Syracuse to get off the last shot. No goal. Ball behind. That was fast. That was out of nowhere. Yeah. 12 left in the half. Rain will just get rid of it. Hope that they can get the ball down there. Now the question is, was that a shot? It isn't. You can't just yell shot and throw the ball. That's one of the first things they teach in refereeing is, you know, somebody will yell shot and just make a, no, nah, it isn't. And Beardsley will run out the half. And Syracuse will head to the locker room up by eight. Solid half after Rocky start. Our halftime scores. Syracuse 13, Michigan State 5. The halftime score, about what we expected. Syracuse on top of Michigan State, 13 to five. But Dale, the way that Syracuse uh, pulled ahead 13-5 was not what we expected. No, it wasn't. It was one of those classic wake-up calls and they, they came back in style and, and quickly. Michigan State got on the scoreboard first. 
Dan Edel doing the honors. Yeah, the Syracuse looked like they were a little out of sync, and uh, Michigan State took advantage of it. They just took a little power from the back, and Adele took a left-handed shot. Rozier not quite up for it early, and uh, they got one. And then Scott Ungachauer. Ungachauer, a nice left-handed shot. He just beat him stick side. It was 3-0 Michigan State when Syracuse began the comeback. Finn, nice feed. Jim Morrissey, Morrissey with a goal. And then you'll see Morrissey pass it back. Donegan back out in front. Colsey puts it in. That was 21 seconds after the first goal, then 29 seconds later. Zip again, and they uh, put the momentum question to rest. Hmm. And uh, I give Michigan State credit. They, they didn't fold, but they certainly have not been in it since then. You look at the, uh, the stats. Shots, Syracuse 36-16. Uh, to 16, Great advantage there. Saves 7-6. to six. Man up goals 0-3 for three for Michigan State. 2-6 of six for Syracuse. Ground balls 25-20. 12-9 in the clear department. But Syracuse dominating face-offs and that has helped them control the tempo of the game. It's a, a day to salute the Syracuse seniors, but the leading individual so far has been a freshman. Rob Cavavit with two goals and three assists in the first half. Again, the halftime score Syracuse 13 and Michigan State 5. Dan Hort and Dale Drypolcher back at the Carrier Dome. We want to pass out a special congratulations to the entire Super Sports crew today. They arrived at 5 a.m. Most of them did to produce the coverage of the uh, graduation ceremonies. So if it gets really lopsided in the second half, <laughs> we're going to have to be very entertaining, Dale. That's right. 13-5 Syracuse as we begin playing the third quarter. Charlie Lockwood with the shot, and McCready there for the save. We also have a new crew member in our booth today who did an outstanding job of turning off the lights my just son, before we came back here in the second half. That's right, my son Kyle Drypolcher helping out, learning the TV business. Pass out of bounds, Syracuse ball. There we are in the booth, and who's that guy paying attention in the back? That's Kyle right there. <laughs> <laughs> TV exposure at the age of what? He's nine. He's off to a good start. <laughs> Thanks, I, guys. I made my radio debut on the Radio Chapel in Jamestown, New York, when I was about probably 15. So he's off to a good start. <laughs> he's, he's ahead of year. Well, that's a good pace. Syracuse with an eight-goal advantage. And we're almost one minute into the third quarter. In about an hour and 45 minutes, Syracuse will learn if it is indeed the number one seed in the upcoming NCAA tournament. Rozier's pass up field was intended for Lockwood. He didn't get it, but Morrissey did. Now Donegan upfield to Doyle. In front to Beardsley. And the loose ball scooped up by Chris Clark. Unsettled situation for Michigan State. Clark wants to shoot. Oh, there's a hold. Clark's pass leads nice. to the goal. Mike Wardian scoring. Nice look, and they got Rozier out of position. There's the initial run over the head. Flag down, but it was a personal, I mean, it was a technical wiped out. He just camped right on the crease. And there's a nice pass as they got it across. Clark got it across, and 33. Mike Wardian, an attack man, gets his first. Being from Orchard Park, he's seen some good passes from Jim Kelly, yeah. Frank Reich. Yeah. Made a nice one there to Mike Wardian, who scored. So it's 13 6. Way to get back in and get those face offs. Signor not able to come up with this. Michigan State shot by Wolf. Face off man doesn't go. Syracuse ball. See that Syracuse has the edge by four in the face off category. And here comes Roy Colsey. Colsey with three goals. They all came in the first quarter. He leads Syracuse in goals today. He also has an assist. Casey Donegan maneuvering away from John Rain. It's good you see this zone defense. You know, I want to tell you how observant I am. I, I just noticed that the goalie's left-handed. And that's the, that sometimes can, oh, that's a, Air gate shot, not close. Went for the one hopper. Colsey did, but he was in the crease. 
But as you look at McCready, I looked at him, he was left-handed, is left-handed. But it hasn't bothered Syracuse, at least. There you go, and see him right there. That's usually the first thing I look for, it escaped me. On Schmidt with a nice scoop of the loose ball. Schmidt will stay in the offensive zone, at least to the time being. Michigan State perhaps hoping to do a third quarter that Massachusetts did, which Dan, Dan that got right, right down slow there last week. Uh, lost the broken stick, stick. Broke. yeah, that's Rame. Can't play with a broken stick. He's running off it's the a, field. It's almost like an extra man situation. It's like having a free extra man penalty, but uh, Rame goes off, gets another stick. Let's see, they, in the meantime, they call the penalty. Watch Rame, watch the, bang, look at the head fly. He puts the stick right down. If you played on with that, I don't know what they called. They called a technical, I'm not sure exactly what it was for. I don't know if they called it on Rame. Oh, he got a hold on there. I was watching Rame come off, Smitty. What's his nose? He got a hold, so. Man up. The hold was on Huss. Syracuse with a man up opportunity for about 15 more seconds. And Syracuse scores to make it 14 to six. That's a man up goal number three. Just real fast. Dom Finn. Finn just did not stay in the stick long. Dom Finn up to 20 goals this season. That's his first goal in a couple of games. Assist number four for Kavavit. Kavavit having quite a year. And as you said, uh, doing well in the assist department, picking up where right. they need some help. Kavavit actually leads the team in assists right. as a freshman. It was anticipated that Cavalier might see a lot of playing time today as Matt Doyle comes back a bit from that injured hamstring. Doyle has played quite a bit today, but Cavalier has put good numbers on the board in his opportunities. Coming in, he was tied with Lockwood for assists, but he's taking it over today. Syracuse on top by eight. That was the spread at halftime. Here's Dave Kiefer, who has not scored. Kiefer came in with 22 goals and nine assists. Yeah, he is the big guy. 6'4", big scorer and big in size. Here's Kiefer. He'll shoot. Shot was off the mark. And uh, Rozier is getting hammered. His stick is caught. Now he just kind of takes a swing to break loose. And he popped a Michigan State could, uh, player pretty well. Yeah, you can't hold anybody's stick. You know what happens though, if you try to check, you say, oh geez, he got caught in my arm and you hold it as long as you can. Watch Rozier. Oh yeah, watch. Oh yeah, geez, I can't, any, nothing I can do about it. Yeah, you can see him right there holding on to it. And uh, out of the picture, that was 33, I think. That was Wardian. Colsey with the ball for Syracuse. Colsey beats one man. Nice takeaway. Nice check. Schlackman coming up with it. Schlackman's been called for a couple of penalties in the game. It made a nice play there. Takes Schlackman shot. shoots. It's wide. Kiefer on the run, and Michigan State will have it. There's David Schlackman. Schlackman, another one of the 6'1", 180. They got a good size team down on the field with them. They all pretty big. Right. There is no such thing, per se, as Big Ten lacrosse because not all uh, 11 Big Ten programs have lacrosse, but they kind of play the way you'd anticipate yeah. a Big Ten team playing from football and basketball if the yep. Big Ten did have lacrosse. Good point. Physical group, and uh, they get big guys. Uh, they're trying to bring it ahead of the goal line. They're trying to get ball placement. Meanwhile, both teams are changing extensively. And as uh, the teams are reset, 
Ready to go with 10.46 left in the third quarter. Michigan State has it. Scott Siebel, Dom Finn picks him up. Syracuse attacking with a double team and it leads to the takeaway. Here comes Colsey. Great try, the shot went wide. It's going to go out of bounds and boy, what an acrobatic attempt by Finn from Colsey. In the I crease. checked that Doyle from Colsey. Yeah, it's in the, in the crease eventually, but you're right, it was a real nice pass and just up in the air, not able to put it in. But uh, he en ended up in the crease. Sometimes the misses are more exciting than the goals. That's right. Oh, nice check. And it's Chad Smith reaching out to pick up the loose ball, bouncing it forward to Colsey. That was Wittick that started this whole thing with that great check. Great effort by Colsey. Good great save. save. McCready robbing Morrissey. Boy, that was a great attempt by Colsey to kind of take a one-handed baseball swing almost to bat the ball to the left. This has to be obviously the most firepower that McCready has faced in a long time. And after that little touch pass that you saw there when he knocked it over, he really made a nice save. Ball going to go out of bounds, but he has played well for Michigan State. He's made some really good saves. Syracuse has taken 40 shots up to this point on him. And you talk about the number of All-Americans and the firepower Syracuse has, he has responded very well especially when they come out of situations like that where Syracuse can make something happen by flicking the ball across the carpet. Wittick in, 45. He is playing jealous. He's a good defender. And not afraid to lay the body on people. Wittick jump. goes down. Beardsley was the defender who came in. Handled nicely by Jealous. See how they jump and go right back to playing defense. Always got to look for the jump. Jealous missed an open man in front. Wardian had an opening. Edel, who scored the first goal of the game, being checked by Toby Price. Now the left-hand cradle, left-hand shot, save Rozier. Fotopoulos picks up the ball. Evades one man. Outruns another. Turns on the Jets. Loses it. Gets it back. Nice one man effort by Christian Fotopoulos. Foto goes back onside. Syracuse gets some people across. Beardsley has run forward for Syracuse. Now Beardsley heading back. <laughs> Beardsley still looking to score. Casey Donegan. Syracuse sets up. Here's Matt Doyle. Doyle looping it back to Charlie Lockwood. Pull it pass forward to Donegan. Donegan has it poked away. And Edel with a successful takeaway for Michigan State. Good defense by Adele. Man, he tried to pass to really wasn't open there. Beardsley hacking at it. Six players <laughs> applying titanium. Yeah, they're going to give Beardsley the hold. We talk about titanium. Those handles used to be wood, then aluminum. Now listen. <laughs> Uh, you hear that metallic jingle, that's that titanium, especially those defensive sticks. Those are the guys that have the titanium. Oh, nice jump. I feel like I can add fencing announcer to my uh, resume. <laughs> that's, that's right. Great sounds down there, Tony. Mark Maxwell got that for us. Thanks, Mark. Michigan State's ball, seven and a half minutes left in the third quarter. It's been a quiet third. Score was 13-5 at the half. Now it's 14-6. The shot's there. They're going to get another one off, but they're down by about 17 in the shot department. Let's see, they call green ball. A good hustle by Michigan State, but Wardian beat that man. 
and he will get the ball. Syracuse looking for its 22nd consecutive victory here at the Carrier Dome. Trying to improve its all-time dome record to uh, your basic 86 and five. <laughs> Not bad. 95% winning percentage. You hear him say double, double, double. That means somebody should be open. Check, Lockwood, Lockwood takes breaks the away. down. Lockwood with room to operate. Great pass. Nice move by Doyle. He breaks in alone. Save. Saved by McCrady. Got his legs on it. Yeah, that was a that was a leg save. Oh, there's a. Both guys are gone. Yeah. Beardsley whistled a shot after the whistle and really fired it. It was high and into the stands, and it looked like Schlackman took exception. Look at it. Got it right with the ankle, I think. Yes. Ooh, boy, that's one you'll see in the shower. Big red mark. Let's see, in the meantime, Schlackman and uh, Beardsley were told to sit down. I don't know whether it was... Uh, we got a technical foul on White 47, delay of game 30 seconds. We got a one minute unsportsmanlike conduct on White 47. We got a one minute unsportsmanlike conduct on Green 8. They were locked. Great joke, the team sucks. Okay. Green ball. Green ball. Hey, green okay. Ball. Yeah. <laughs> Beardsley, Beardsley sits next to him in, in the box. <laughs> uh, Why don't you just put a love seat down there, guys? I'm, I'm, I'm not sure. I, I think I think I think they're doing a little talking. You know, Beardsley reminded me he's only a junior. He's been playing so long. I thought he'd been playing since he was a true freshman. I think he's uh, a senior, but uh, he's not. He'll be back. Roy so, Simmons calls him the best defenseman in college lacrosse. Almost everyone seems to agree he's the best at taking the ball away one-on-one. -on -one. Very flamboyant. That's a good word for him, flamboyant. Mm -hmm. There he is, Rick Beardsley out of Florida. Rarely at a loss for words. Never at a loss for words. I'm telling you, I one more word. Don't tell me. The official, you can hear the official there say one more word. At any rate, Syracuse will be down for 30 seconds here. At least one man after this penalty. The first penalty is up to. And that delay of game penalty on Beardsley was for taking the shot after the whistle and firing the ball into the stands. Right. <laughs> uh, they're even up now when this penalty is released. Uh, one man will come in and Beardsley will be down for another 30 seconds. He got a minute and 30 seconds on that. You know, one thing it does having guys out is it, it makes the, the uh, alleys a little bit bigger, Dan. You, you don't have as many bodies out there. That was a good, good uh, Chad Smith. That was a titanium save and uh, it's gonna go Michigan State way. However, Rozier out quickly, hustling. He has improved significantly. I'm just gonna say that's one of the things getting out when we saw him early you know it I think he was feeling enough to, to be able to make the save but now he gets out he's uh, he's making the passes better I think he's improved a good deal I don't recall ever seeing anyone in the penalty area grinning from ear to ear like Rick Beardsley <laughs> just was Syracuse up by eight 545 left in the third quarter Nice Rozier shot. with Good a save. save. A nice shot by Ungachauer. Wittick giving it back yeah. to Schmid. Schmid the trailer with a six foot stick. Whoa. Bouncer goes over the cage. Fietta was behind for Syracuse. He had the southpaw's head down. The goalie thought that was going to come low. Let's see what they do. Fietta takes a high shot and saves him again. Nice save by the Michigan State goalie. McCready, the senior, has made some nice saves in the game, but he's had a lot to try and save. Syracuse with 43 shots. He's up to nine saves. Some of them, many of them, spectacular variety and close in. Now they're man up, I believe. Nope, still even. Here's Eric Huss. Trying to make a move on Charlie Lockwood. Lockwood with a size advantage, certainly. Plus 5'9", 170. Charlie 6 feet 190. 
Now it's Kiefer, Schmid. Bounce shot and a goal. It's going to be a push, and Huss did a nice job. Should be wiped out if that's what they give him. Yeah. Nice job by Huss. Watch. He makes. Not, actually, you know who did a nice job was the, the good pass by Kiefer, and then Huss, you see him get pushed, but he made a nice shot. But Kiefer did a real good job of holding the ball and making the good pass. First goal of the day for Huss. Kiefer with the assist. And it's a football score, 14-7. Four thirty left in the third quarter. Oh, Dom Finn was just decked from behind, away from the ball. Called on Finn. Hmm. The fans uh, upset about that. Finn couldn't believe it. At any rate, it'll go Michigan State way. I think you're going to see Finn get pushed into somebody and get called for the push. Get a chance. Oh yeah, yeah. That was uh, that was one of those ones that's uh, you miss one once in a while. Syracuse does have the seven goal advantage, so no panic from the sidelines over a missed call. Sophomore Danny Dell with the ball. Signor. Keeping up with him. The crowd in that crease, they are really trying to make things tough for Rozier. Signor hit the deck but recovers. Edel with the feed, Kiefer trying to get it in front and Rozier comes up with a ball. Now it's Mike Smiley, the big guy out of West Jenning. Spots Colsey. Chris Clark. Ty Colsey. Roy waiting for Syracuse to line up. Now he's waiting for Finn to come across. Smiley back on side now. Cab of it. Looking to feed in front. Good defense by Schlackman on Cab of it. Mm -hmm. Signor with it. He has a goal today. that man to man now they seem to be have switched jump shot goal there's that familiar left-handed bounce shot from Roy Colsey his fourth goal of the day his 40th of the season pretty much man to man on this and you can see the Colsey now they're gonna jump him but he, he, he turns so well you see how he cuts there's the jump there's the low shot high bounce and the goal when Colsey goes up like that, the goalie's tendency is to go up with him, yeah. and then he puts bounces it, low. it by. Yeah. yeah, it puts it low, and it takes a high bounce. Colsey, 4-1 and one on the day. Not a bad day for Roy. But uh, it looked Michigan State went back to went to a man-to-man -man on that. Easy face-off there for Syracuse. Toby Price up with it. Syracuse will have an absolute minimum one more goal, uh, one more game this season, and perhaps as many as four. They would certainly hope to have four. Colsey could finish this season with an impressive figure. Maybe even second best single season total in Syracuse history if he really keeps scoring at this pace. Schlackman's due for a rest. Here's Lockwood, the laser, and goes wide. Kavovit was there. Colsey has 40 goals. The most games, I beg your pardon, one correction, the most games that Syracuse could play is three more games, not four. Right. Colsey's been scoring about three or four goals a game over the second half of the season. And if he adds 10 more goals, he could get up to 50 goals. Could finish in the top five for a single season in Syracuse history. Oh, he's not on the, yeah, he is on the man up, and this is Syracuse, what, ninth, op eighth opportunity. So this is unusual. Syracuse oftentimes gives up 10 or 12 opportunities and doesn't get many themselves, but they do here, and actually Colsey's the guy who took the shot. And a great rebound goal for Matt Doyle. That was pretty. It was pretty. You're absolutely right. 
just saying Colsey was in. And he's going to be out there and take the shot. Watch this. Bang, and then it's saved. The rebound behind the back. Just beautiful. That, that's, that's just timing. That's athletic ability. What happens? Bang, ball goes up. I mean, most guys would just be waiting to get the ball on their stick. He already had it planned. He was going to take it behind the back, and Doyle puts number three in, makes it 16-7. Syracuse, another faceoff. And to realize that was his only way to score that quickly is what separates this program from really any other program in the country. I'll tell you what else, you know, I, I think they realize that this is entertainment and you know, you could play a different brand of lacrosse and play a zone defense all, you know, maybe they couldn't win any more games, but Fans like this kind of style here. It's for basketball, football, and lacrosse. It's a Syracuse, I think, kind of a tradition that they play an up-tempo, run it, gun it game. Lockwood. Oh, did you see what that? What a fake. My gracious, that was some fake. I think he did that while he was in the air. Look at this, he did, he did. He faked it while he was in the air. Wow. He, he brought it up and took it back down again. Brought wow. the stick back down. Yeah, that's all you can say, watch it. Oh! oh. Syracuse has scored two behind the back goals. Charlie Lockwood with one of the greatest fakes you'll ever see and it's 17-7 Syracuse. Timeout, Michigan State. question is, will Rich Kimball talk strategy or say, don't try to do that, guys? You can't. <laughs> There's a guy who's had quite a game. He's up in double figures now for saves, 11, but he wasn't able to save this one, and I'll tell you what, there aren't many people that could. Fake, bring it back down. Look, the stick was, he did the perfect job. He brought the stick over. It just wasn't there. It was back down in his right-hand side. That's it. That's one for the highlight tape. The five Syracuse seniors on the team were honored before the game. We highlighted the three who play the most prominent role, Lockwood, Finn, and Donegan. The others, Eric Kanoss, has had some injury problems throughout his career and hopes to get on the field for some action today. And then Scott Clark. Undoubtedly a talented midi, but buried behind Syracuse's, uh, the strength really of this Syracuse team. Well, they have said all year, we do not have a first and second midfield. We have one midfield that has six people on it and uh, we get them in and out. And that's exactly the way they have run things this year and a pretty talented attack also. They've got some guys who have uh, have contributed in the defense, perhaps a, a question mark and Rozier I think has settled in. He's got another year here in the goal. They are solid and they've got uh, they got the elements, they just got to put it together. They've had a tough week of practice with exams, graduations. Uh, it's been difficult. Let's see what they get here. I neglected one senior, I beg your pardon, Nick Licamelli, who has played today. And he's the kind of guy who plays just about in every game. So, you know, you get a, you get a mileage out of a guy like Nick Licamelli. Helps the program. Penalty, Syracuse man up, takes a shot. That's Thompson in the penalty box, penalty area. 35 seconds left in the penalty, so. Oh. Nice play by Chad Smith to poke it forward to Charlie Lockwood. 50 seconds left in the third quarter, Syracuse up by 10. Syracuse up by 11. Kavovic scores. Man up goal, number four for Syracuse. And Kavovic, a little low roller on the left hand. Morrissey gets the ball in, pops it to Kavovic. Watch him go low. Right underneath the left-handed goalie. Three goals and three assists for Kavovic. I think uh, Syracuse's goalie, Alex Rozier, is going to get the fourth quarter off. Garrett Esposito 
is playing catch along the Syracuse sideline. Uh, he's up in double figure saves, 11, but you know, you, they really have basically, they have gone with one goalie all season as, as a true goalie that they're going to work with, and you don't want to have anything happen to him. And uh, the game pretty much in hand at 18 to seven would, as you said, Dan, I think give Esposito a chance to give him some time to rest and reflect on what he's got to do for the playoffs. And Esposito is also a senior, so in this, the last game of the regular season, get him an opportunity to get out there for some time, and he is a local product. That's a goal, got just inside the post. A jolly. Just alone on the crease, and Rozier a little upset. Watch, there's the pass. See, nobody was on him. Rozier said, I should have jumped him. I should have gone out and hit him earlier, and uh, he didn't and was not able to stop that shot. So Jolly comes up with goal number one and puts Michigan State up at eight. 18-8 Syracuse, 14 seconds left in the third. Good luck, ball out, still not in anybody's stick. It is now. Syracuse will get a shot. Oh, foot, foot save. save. And that's the end of the quarter. Lacamelli got off the shot. And a nice save by the foot by McCready. We head to the fourth quarter. Syracuse up by 10. The Orangemen 18, the Spartans 8. Dan Hort and Dale Drypolcher back at the Dome at Syracuse 18, Michigan State 8 with 15 minutes of lacrosse to go. Faceoff goes to Syracuse quickly. Paul Sullivan still cradling with the right hand. Here's Licamelli. Brian Eisenberg has run out for Syracuse, so it looks like an opportunity for some other players to get in the scoring column. That was a good shot, it went wide. Ball was fired by Carcaterra, the freshman from Yorktown Heights. Thompson for Michigan State on the defense. Oh, it was a shot. Flag. There were three flags. Doug Jackson out of JD took the shot. So that'll be a slash. Another man up opportunity. Watch the. He gets him right. He got him before. Now there it is right there, I'm sorry. You can see the head move. Yeah, he wished he got him before that. That really caught him right flush on the helmet. Syracuse man up now, the number 10 for Syracuse. They are five of 10, that's a pretty good average. Five of nine, I should say. This is the 10th. Incidentally, Alex Rozier remains in goal for Syracuse, at least for the time being. I think they're gonna give him maybe one more pass at him. And also the opportunity for the big round of applause if he comes out right. during the game. Yep. Syracuse ball. Doyle there flexing that little brace on the right leg. Matt Doyle out in front. Charlie Lockwood lost it, but Dom Finn recovers. Finn oh, boy. thought about the yeah. shot, gave back to Lockwood. Here comes the laser. And that shot. Misses wide, Rob Cavavit will control for Syracuse. Michigan State back to that uh, zone look. Nope. Lockwood handling it. Now looping it to Morrissey, back to Finn. Dom shoots, that's wide and uh, Rob Cavavit is there. Their basic strategy has been to, to use his zone defense, but be aggressive, and when you know the guy's got the ball and he's gonna shoot, or you think he's gonna shoot, let's double him and double him quick, and let's get on him. And it worked early, I think frustrated Syracuse a little bit, and then offensively, they slowed it down, got some face-offs early, and uh, it put him right in the game. Tough. Lockwood shoots and scores. Charlie with his second goal of the day. Number 30 this season. 19-8 Syracuse. Hubbard slides out to pick him up. He's out at the point and just too much time and too much space to give that man. There's the result. 
Syracuse finding their timing. I thought that was off a little early. The pass is not quite on the money. And as we said in talking to coaches and players, they had some problems with practice, what with exams and graduation. And, and they're going to get the ball back again. On, uh, they have been dominating here oftentimes on illegal procedure penalties or pushes on the faceoff. So it's really difficult for Michigan State to get back in the game offensively when you give up the ball so much. And like a Melly drawing the foul. Boy, he drew a big one, didn't he? So 41 for Michigan State will sit. That's Richard Rund. There, that was it. Right on the face mask. Syracuse leading 19-8. The Orangemen on the verge of topping the 20-goal mark for the fourth time this season. Syracuse's uh, highest goal total, 28 in the victory over Hobart this year. Not the only common opponent, I believe. Michigan State lost to them, I believe, 15-10. That's right. And uh, the only common opponent that they had. Finn passing for Doyle, and Syracuse loses it. Doyle with that brace on the right leg and a hamstring problem to boot, right? Mm -hmm. With all those problems, he's had three goals today. That's right. Boy, Michigan State was backed into a corner there, but it works out for the Spartans. Kiefer trying to lose Schmidt. Kiefer got an assist. I don't know if he's got a goal. He does not have a goal yet I didn't today. Think so. He's the leading scorer coming in. At 22 entering the game. Right. And 31 points, he had nine assists, so he's gotten an assist. Roughly 12 minutes to go. Syracuse trying to close out the regular season with a 12 and one record. Oh, that shot ball did loose. not get through and Rozier comes away. There's the pass. A field right to the Colsey, numbers favor Syracuse. Kavovich behind the back, and a shot and a goal for Doug Jackson out of Jamesville DeWitt. Third goal of the season for the freshman, and a pretty over the shoulder, behind the back feed from Kavovich. Really nice, I didn't know who was gonna get that in the middle, but Kavovich knew just where Jackson was, and of course, he knows how to put the ball in the hole, makes a couple of fakes. There's the behind the back, you know that that's just from something you get from playing with one another, even in practice. Kind of at five assists now. Jackson on the first goal, but five assists. An eight-point day for Kavovit. Three goals, five assists. Syracuse it's, it's with got, the ball and leading by a dozen. It's got to be six face-offs, five or six face-offs in a row via penalty or procedures, and Syracuse has just been uh, getting the ball back again and again. And Sullivan shoots and scores. Jackson with the assist. And that's going to be it for Alex Rozier. Garrett Esposito running in. Rozier will get the high fives back by the Syracuse goal and undoubtedly a big round of applause as he begins to make his way off the field. There's the replay of the Sullivan goal. And the fans are responding as Alex Rozier is running to the Syracuse sideline. There he is. Well, it was a big question mark, the position. Not with him so much, but who's going to replace Chris Saran? And then uh, they got a guy from a junior college. How long is it going to take for him to adjust? And I think he's done very well. And the fans have a lot of confidence in him. The team does, I know that. A lot of confidence in him to lead him into the playoffs. Ball down. Syracuse actually up with it momentarily. Get it again. That's Charette's, Sh I believe. Yep. Andy with the ball. Thought about a left-handed shot. Now Syracuse works it in behind the cage. There is Kanos, the senior who was hoping to see some playing time today. He got hurt in the, in the tournament, I think, and uh, fleet tournament. Didn't know whether he'd make mm -hmm. it back. Big kid at 6'4", 230. 21-8 Syracuse. This is Joyce, like to get in the scoring column today. Now it's Kanos. Using his size to back in. Back to Signor. 
Oh. Aaron pass. And that's going to bounce out of bounds. Well, I'm looking at the faceoff stat, Dan. It's 22 to 12 at this point, and that's that's a really telling statistic when you're a team that really has to control the tempo like Michigan State did. And in this half, uh, especially in this quarter, they have not been able to get the ball at all and, and do what they want to do offensively. It's been react to an unsettled situation. Syracuse got ground ball advantage, 45 to 28 also. So they are dominating in both of those categories. And right now, every player on the field for Syracuse is a second or third line player. So Roy Simmons getting some younger guys experience. That shot gets by Garrett Esposito. And credit the goal to Scott Siebel. Siebel takes a high bouncer. And Esposito, fresh off the bench and in the game, high bounce. See, it went up over the shoulder, not able on the side of the stick, not able to do it. So number 33, one shot, no save. Esposito playing for the sixth time this season in a reserve role. Jody Ferguson trying for this draw for Syracuse. One thing you will see out of the players currently on the field for the Orange Men, a lot of hustle. Yeah. They try to make the most of this playing time. Not to mention that, don't they have to cut down for NCAAs? Don't you? I'm pretty sure you do. So you want to make sure you're on that, on that travel squad. Danny Dell. And he's he played well. Christian Fotopoulos. Fotopoulos, the long stick midfielder in. He has played well also for Syracuse. Now a running start for Luke Gremsman. Gremsman got off a high velocity shot, but it was wide to the right. 9-12 remaining. Syracuse 21, Michigan State 9. Kiefer trying to back in. Like that hit the back of the net. Syracuse will get it. Yeah. Pass that went out of bounds and has resulted Syracuse's. Rourke Denver 16 in and uh, he goes over on the wing. Esposito goes back to get the ball. He's got Smiley up on his left wing. A lot of big sticks there. Let's see what Smiley does at 6-6. He throws a 7-6 pass <laughs> basically. <laughs> Not able to track it down. They're going to lose the ball. Finnegan couldn't get it. Syracuse offside to boot. Michigan State trying to take advantage. Nice one-handed catch by Kiefer. And as Syracuse makes contact, the whistle blows. So 30-second technical for Syracuse as they were not able to get onside. So Esposito will face his first man up. It's the fifth opportunity. And they have not been able to convert on a man up situation. And as I said, Syracuse doing extremely well on the year. Only allowing, what, 18 of 96. Now it would be, what, 18 of 101, if I can add 96 and 5 correctly. Well, actually, this is the fifth. We haven't, we haven't completed this one yet. I probably ruined it now. If you need to talk math, talk to your nine-year-old son. That's, <laughs> definitely don't talk to his father. <laughs> they still remember those things at that age. That's right. Like fractions, you know. How do you multiply a fraction? <laughs> High shot. Whoa! Eight fourteen remaining. Michigan State's ball. We've even stumped the truck on that fraction question. Even now, Syracuse back got the penalties up. So indeed, they uh, hold off on the man down and makes it eighteen of one hundred and one on the year. Coach Simmons. Mm -hmm. Nearing win number 12. This would be the sixth straight year that Syracuse hit the 12 victory mark. No other program can say that. What a consistent program they have. And also with the coaches, John Desco, Kevin Donahue, Laddie Horrell, all been here for a while. Laddie Horrell, the newest addition, has been here a number of years. But mm -hmm. 
When you don't have a staff in transition, you yes. know, it, it really helps things. I think that is an underrated aspect of Syracuse's uh, success. The entire coaching staff, comfortable with each other. They each have their specific responsibilities and you know, certainly among the best teachers of this game in the country. And Roy is great at delegating responsibility. Oh, nice, nice hit. Joyce got off a good shot. Paid the price. Ball down the sideline. Oh, they're gonna call a they're gonna call a slash. Sullivan. He's gonna be. Yeah, Sullivan's gonna be down. So if we Syracuse gets a, another chance to play man down. Sullivan coming off. Junior from Scarsdale, New York. Come back nicely this year after injuring his knee last year against Hobart. See that behind the back check? He caught him on the helmet. Anytime you do a one hand check, if you get anything but stick, they're going to call it. But uh, yeah, I give him credit. That was got some style points for that slash. Nice save. save by Esposito. Upfield to Chad Smith. Pass was not completed and Michigan State has it. Here's Kiefer. Had a running start. Now backs it up. Smiley on Kiefer. Back to Chris Clark. Clark lost it momentarily. Wittick trying for the takeaway. It's still loose. Rolling toward the cage. Esposito picked it up. And now he completes a pass to Chad Smith. Sladinsky on him. He stops, gets it down. Kanas looking for the opening. Found a man in front. Good leverage there by Rivers, the defenseman. Of, he was going to take a shot. Rivers got on him. Poor pass to nobody. Joyce trying to find Kanas, oh. but picked up by Smith. <laughs> on the way out, Smith says, before I <laughs> run through the box here, let me get the ball. This will be picked up by Kanas. Now it's Brian Eisenberg. Eisenberg has had his moments this season. Eisenberg with a nice feed. Nice Sherritz with a shot and saved nicely by McCready. Sherritz gets it back. Eisenberg. Syracuse moving the ball well, mm -hmm. I think. Ted being patient, getting some good shots off. That hit the post. McCready did a nice job of sealing off the angle. Shot taken by Eisenberg. Brady up to 15 saves, by the way. He's going to lose that ball. He's going to get a chance to make another one because Syracuse are going to get the ball in the offensive end of the field. Schlackman, number eight, has played well for Michigan State. 3,792 the attendance today. That was just to put up on the scoreboard. Considerably more fans than the turnout last year at Michigan State where the official attendance was zero. Fans were not allowed because of bad weather. They had to play in their indoor football complex. No fans. Yes, they're gonna give Joyce that goal. Andy Joyce out of Henninger High School, a junior, really worked for that one. He got slashed or hit twice. I'm, I think they're gonna give him a slash. You're gonna see right there, there's the one. The ball in, absolutely good call. That ball was in the cage, and then Joyce, there's one. They get another one right there. That's the one they're going to call. So that'll be 22 9 now, and Syracuse will be man up. They still got to get the face off. So this will be 12 men. And Syracuse usually does that. Syracuse oftentimes gives away so many penalties early in the year. They were always in double figures, but uh, now they've been very good. Ball down, their man up, they got it. Oh, they lose it. And now Syracuse has it. Shifty moves by Andy Sheritz. Sheritz gives it up, they get it behind the tack. Nice save by McCready. Shot was fired by Matt Weiner. 
ball down the left sideline. Esposito over, but it's gonna be Syracuse ball. And you can see a new goalie has come on for Michigan State. Steve Roge. And Steve Roge had that save. Steve Roge out of Acton, Massachusetts. Got a total of 100 shots. You weren't, if you saw them early, a lot of them were taken by Michigan State. Nice first quarter for the Spartans, but Syracuse came back strong. And as we showed in the halftime highlights, a lot of goals in a short period of time. And there's another Joyce one. with his second straight goal off the feed from Doug Jackson. That didn't take too long either. He had one just a little while ago, probably less than a minute. So Joyce puts two in the hole. And Doug Jackson has a goal and two assists. That's the thing, being able to put your guys in and not only getting some offensive firepower, but taking some time off the clock. New goalie, Syracuse, Brian Hartwell. Syracuse, seven of 13 in the man up goal. Excuse me, seven of 12. Bob Benville corrects me. Green moves, that's a, as I said, this has been a nemesis. And there is Hartwell, the sophomore from Detroit, doing yeah. some stretching exercises. Play a lot of lacrosse in Detroit. <laughs> Slash. Schlackman gonna sit again. He's had a number of penalties. You know, if you have five personals, you can, you can throw you out. Schlackman's had, is that his fifth? Oh boy, Smitty on top of that. He may fall out, I don't know if they... It has to be five personals. Come on. Schlackman is quite at home with that seat. Yeah, they should have a director's chair That's with right. his name on the they back. They should put a megaphone there. there for him and he could... Uh, he has played well, but very aggressive. It's cost him a number of opportunities to sit. Whoa! Shot and a goal from about 20 yards in front of the cage. Dennis Finnegan scores again. Watch this. Too much time to crank on a, another goalie who's also left-handed from Michigan State, Roge. Dennis Finnegan loving life after scoring that goal. That is his first point of the season. <laughs> Green's pushing. This has really been this has really been something that they want to obviously work on. Out of the 24 Syracuse goals, 14 different players have scored. Or you know, goals, that is. Want to boost your face-off stats? It's 25-14. So, oh, and your goals. Is that Ferguson, Jody Ferguson, freshman out of Carthage, New York. A little guy takes a shot, and uh, actually thought <laughs> might have been a pass. Give him an assist and a goal. Yeah, that's right. Just kidding, that's a goal for Jody Ferguson. Usually a face-off specialist, but the freshman picks up the goal. Well, you know, you gotta, you gotta give Michigan State a pat on the back. They're gonna be a timeout here with 309. Nobody will know, and looking at the score in the paper, the fact that they really did a good job for quite a while before really succumbing to a superior lacrosse team, but I think they did some things right, did what they had to do when they came in, just couldn't last. That incidentally was the first point of Jody Ferguson's career. Twenty-five nine Syracuse. Last year the final was twenty-seven to seven in East Lansing. Well, later today we'll have a better idea of what team is likely to come into the Carrier Dome in a couple of weeks. Syracuse will try to win one game at the Dome in the NCAA tournament 
And if Syracuse wins, it's on to another Final Four. Syracuse has never missed the Final Four since that format was created for lacrosse as well as college hoops. Some fans have left, but a crowd of more than 3,700 was in attendance today. Should have a good crowd for that playoff game on the 21st. Absolutely. Syracuse has had especially big crowds for two of its home games this year, North Carolina and Loyola. Loyola, of course, then number one. Oh, that's off of Syracuse, off of nobody yet. Picked up by Michigan State. Ungachauer with the ball. Flips it back to Ladinsky. Danny Dell winds up a shot. Off the pads behind the goal. Right, right underneath our mic. <laughs> you really heard that one hit. Hardwell, the third Syracuse goalie to play in this game, would like to make a save. Hardwell has had a couple of saves this season. Good hustle, ball on the sideline's gonna go Syracuse way. Good hustle by a couple of players. Kept it in. Two ten remaining in the game. Bob Bassam. Yeah, Bassam wants a shot. <laughs> I'm getting in there. I don't care what it takes. <laughs> oh my. Oh, they got him for the big one. It'll be a minute. Penalty shot attempt number 14. Two eight. 2-8, slash, one minute. So, Thompson, the defenseman, will sit down. Ryan Thompson. Exactly two minutes left in the game. Long pass, or not a long pass, but intercepted by a long stick. Momentarily down for Michigan State. Up the sideline. And a takeaway for Syracuse. Hubbard lost it for Michigan State. Weiner has it. High shot, didn't get through. Dennis Finnegan was looking for his second goal. There's a goal, Weiner scores. Matt Weiner out of Baltimore, Maryland. Freshman on the crease. He's gonna get the pass from Finnegan. 26-9. He made it look easy. And that is the first point of his SU career. Had taken a couple of shots in a earlier game but had not scored. Looking for another push. Okay, Michigan State ball. And no call. And no call. Time in the corner of the screen. The time remaining in this game with Syracuse leading 26 to nine. And the crew gets to home and go to bed. Having covered the graduate, Syracuse did a nice job of changing the dome around from graduation mode to lacrosse mode. Mm -hmm. Jump, replace, everybody slides, ball down, penalty called, no penalty. Yeah. No possession, push, lose possession. Seventeen guys have scored 
goals or assists for Syracuse. Whoa, good save, high bouncer. Looked like it was saved before it got through to the uh, goaltender Hardwell. Somebody's going to have an illegal check. Too late. One minute illegal body check. Yeah. Derek Wolfanger from, I believe, Jamesville DeWitt High School. That's correct. So he gets in and gets out. Twenty-two seconds remaining. So a local kid gets a little chance to play the freshman. So man up opportunity. They have not been able to put one in yet. This is their seventh. So they're zero for six. Fourteen seconds. And the last 10 seconds of the game. And a goal for Michigan State. To get one. Doug Jolly with his second goal of the day. Beating Brian Hardwell by going down low. And it's 26 to 10. That was their 37th shot. Syracuse, meanwhile, has taken 68. Almost a two to one edge. And there's the score, which reflects that amount of shot differential. Syracuse led by eight at the half. And it's a similar spread in the second half with Syracuse winning by 16. A solid victory to close out the regular season for the Orangemen. After spotting Michigan State three goals, Syracuse goes on to a lopsided victory. There's your final. Syracuse 26, Michigan State 10. Syracuse will go into the NCAA tournament with a 10-game winning streak and almost certainly the number one seeding. The Orangemen pounding Michigan State in the regular season finale, 26 to 10. Don't forget, Syracuse likely to have one home game before trying to go on to the Final Four. That's coming up on the 21st, we expect. And you can see coverage of that game on Super Sports, an NCAA quarterfinal game for the Orangemen. For Dale Drypolcher and the entire Super Sports crew, this is Dan Horde saying thanks for watching and so long, everybody.